What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, it's Turbo329. I'm out here running the carbs today. The temperature dropped to the 30s. So I'm gonna run the bikes dry. So I'm gonna turn the fuel off on both of these bikes, let them run until the carbs empty until they die. So this way the fuel doesn't gum up inside the carbs. And then it'll cause me some headaches next season. Check out these classic super bikes. First up is this Fire Breathing Dragon 1998 779cc Reseco Piston Kit, web cams, camshafts, race grind, ceramic transmission bearings, ceramic um, cam bearings. I did a polish on the exhaust ports running a kibble white top end kit. And uh, what else we got in this thing? We got the race air box from AirTech. We got the shark skins bodywork. And over here, we're running a Coso tack that was wired up. We got a Coso temperature gauge. I'm actually waiting for a replacement um, because I accidentally damaged the wire on this one. No biggie. And uh, every all the bodywork's been primed. Removed some of the stock components here that. Um, uh, choke switch and all of that. I got a rigged up ZX14 switch um, to save some space. A custom Motion Pro revolver throttle first gen for ZX10. And I'm um, gonna come around on this side so you can see it better. Uh, Akasato master cylinder. You can get in there, which works great by the way, with a non foldable lever. We got Galfer rotors up in there. Boom. EBC brake pads and uh, we got some damn moto uh, rear sets adjustable you can see the bolts rusted so I got a little maintenance I got to do next season full muzzy exhaust and uh, we got vortex clip-ons with a uh, rental rent all hard hand grips and uh, we got an EK MVXZ chain over here with uh, some eBay chain guard which I got just for aesthetics and some vortex sprockets. I believe this is one down, two up. Um, fire breathing dragon. We got the Penske. Let's see if we can get in here. We got the Penske remote reservoir, double adjustable, which is plenty. A custom superconductor spark plug wires, a custom mount with Dyna mini coils uh, inside the tail. I got an Ignite Tech TCI P4. Uh, with a um, rate of rev limit raised to 14,000 and uh, we have the crankshaft balance to 14,000 and I think that's pretty much it a lot of work went into this this thing is about 140 at the crank and uh, definitely gonna can't wait to get it out next season let's start it up and see how she sounds both bikes have already been warmed up she should fire up without a hit <laughs> We got 41 millimeter flat slide carbs in there with some uh, custom jetting to accommodate the engine work and um, definitely definitely a fire breathing monster a lot of guys want to see more content on this bike and you will get your wish you will get your wish 650e dared me to bring this out the mid ohio next season i'm most likely going to do it because i don't back down from the challenge so 650E, if you're watching, my good buddy, you can come see you next year on this, on this bad boy. Might have something else for you too, just in case. Probably won't need it though, but uh, it is what it is. Over here, got the O2 ZX7R and uh, immaculate condition, completely OEM down to the turn signals. The only thing is I have a full muzzy exhaust with a custom 
titanium can that I believe came off of a ZX-12. And uh, the bike seems to really like it. It was breathing nice on the dyno. Everything on stock, uh, except for the sprockets. They also an EKM BXE chain running um, Vortex sprocket on this as well. Stock rear sex, everything stock, everything else stock. Um, had some bad gas in this last last week and I had to ride it and get most of it out but uh, Super 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 in love with my O2ZX7 Classics right here. Both of these bad boys are both of them are This one is warmed up as well You tell me which one sounds meaner. Gonna have a rev off real quick. guys tell me which one sounded nastier that 779 actually sounds a little bit throatier to be honest I'm not sure which one I like more <laughs> I like them both you guys be the judge which ones you like 779 sounding nasty with 140 at the crank or the bone stock CX7 with race airbox full muzzy system and some gearing I don't know man I don't know which one I want to ride more maybe I'll show up at your local track with both of these bad boys we'll see what's up we'll see what's up I used to when I was young I used to travel the tracks all around uh, the east coast northeast southeast even the midwest I don't get out as much as I used to but I'd like to get into it again at some point but um, yeah Love to hear your feedback on these two classic, classic super bikes that can still get around the track pretty good. I think with this bike, I ran 137 at New Jersey Thunderbolt, which is very respectable. Very respectable on this, but that was before I did the engine work. Back then, that bike was only making 113 or so horsepower. Interested to see how it runs now now that I got the engine completely done. It's gonna need a valve adjustment soon. Now that it's built to the hilt, I'd like to get inside that top end and just double check the specs. Don't want any mishaps. But uh, this one, man, this one's ready to go. And I'm also, as you guys have been keeping aware, thinking about adding a 636 to my Kawasaki Ninja collection. So that would be the six, this would be the seven, this would be almost an 800. We got the gold ZX9. And then the Ninja H2 is a thousand. Collection will be almost complete. MV doesn't count. That's my that's my painting. So uh yeah. After the after the ZX6, man, only thing that'd be left is the ZX14 and maybe a Ninja 400 or Ninja 25. Get that imported into the United States. Because, you know, I be about that import life sometimes. So, that's it, guys. I'm going to cut this video short. And uh, just wanted to share share my little afternoon warm-up for you guys. Going to drain these carbs. Like I said, I don't want any headaches uh, for next season. But, um, 
yeah I'm in love with these things every time I think I'm ready to part with them I just can't do it so this is gonna need some cosmetic work for next season obviously I'm gonna touch up the frame and the swing swing arm I'm also gonna touch up this exhaust get it looking new again it's a little bit cloudy that's what happens with polished aluminum it's really difficult to maintain you got to stay on top of it same thing with that clutch cover over there I'll zoom you guys in real quick you can see what I'm talking about you know and uh, this is probably going to be painted it's going to be painted either a matte black or matte gray or probably a matte green metallic um, so it's going to be really really nice it's going to pop and uh, these rims are going to be powder coated red I decided to go with red me and my other buddy with his ZX10 we're going to powder coat our rims red for 2020 so that's it guys thanks for watching this quick update I'll bring you some more updates I hope you enjoyed this little skit on the classic super bikes old school love and i'll keep you guys posted on the zx10 plan i mean the zx6r plans if i do go through with that or if i decide to get that uh leftover zx10 so thanks for watching guys hope you appreciate the content and uh any guys got any suggestions or anything um definitely man bounce them off me and uh, I don't have any major work planned this winter, so hope I didn't disappoint you guys. But if I do get that 636, I'll definitely be building that up to make it more track uh, purposeful. Um, so I know a couple of you guys expressed interest in that build. And, um, you know, guys, I've been doing content for a while. And, um, you know, right now I'm just under 3,000 subscribers. So um, I'd like to get about... 20,000 subscribers if possible so I can start doing some patreon builds like my good buddy uh, 650e and some of the other guys out there I know what I'm doing um, as far as making things go go fast it's your favorite garage mechanic but um, I'd love to be able to do some patreon builds and some giveaways but I need the support base to do that so um, if you guys are watching um, please subscribe let me know that the interest is there and I'll definitely consider doing that my YouTube analytics are showing that 90% of my viewers have not subscribed so um, there's a lot of potential for this channel and um, I definitely like to see it grow um, so I can start to give back to the YouTube community so on that note I'm gonna leave you guys with that tidbit and I appreciate the love and support just bringing it to you real no fluff just the way you guys like it and uh, again, I really appreciate your viewership. So leave you with that, man. And uh, stay tuned for future videos.